Hey, I'm Mark Romanek. Stick around because we're going to do a test ride video in a brand new boat from StarCraft. It's called the Titan 186. I and mean, as you can see, this thing's rigged for serious fishing. The Titan 186 is a brand new boat from StarCraft. It's an awesome fishing boat, as I think you're going to see. This boat is rated out at 175 horses for its maximum horsepower capacity. It's also 18 foot 6 inches long down the center line, and it's got a whopping beam of 99 inches. All total, this is a serious fishing boat. The Titan 186 is a new model for 2016, and as you can see, it's got a very, very nicely laid out dashboard here. I'm sitting at the helm, and there's a couple of things that are just gonna jump out at you immediately. One of the things is the in-dash mounting sonar capability. That is so cool, because what it does is it takes a sonar unit that would normally be blocking your field of view here and puts it in the console so that it's functional, but it doesn't get in the way of your navigation. This one happens to be a seven inch unit. You can fit up to a nine inch unit in here, so that's a really, really nice feature. The other gauges here are very easy to see and very easy to read. I got a tack over here that's right here that I can see. Of course, down here's my trim gauge, over here my bolt meter, and of course my fuel gauge as well. All of these gauges are easy to see while you're actually navigating the boat, so that's very, very nice. Now when you come down in the council and see, there's some other really nice features. Of course, your AM, FM radio right here. On the other side over here, you've got all of your toggles that are gonna run all of your important functions. Your navigation lights, for example, your bilge pumps, uh, live well pumps, that type of stuff is all over here so it's easy to see as well. Moving up on the console a little bit, there's a 12 volt accessory switch up here. The nice thing about that is it's gonna be a perfect location to plug in here in this drink cup holder. You drop your cell phone in there and you can charge your cell phone while you're running or fishing. That's gonna be ideal. And then if a guy did want to put two sonar units on this boat, there's still a flat spot up here where you can mount a ram mount here and put another sonar unit or a GPS unit here if you wanted. So all total, this graph is incredible. It's got all the features you're looking for in a serious fishing boat graph and a modern looking feel to it. The Titan 186 is a serious fishing boat and you can see that immediately when you step to the back of the boat. I'm on the raised casting platform right here. Things that jump out at me are the vinyl surfaces on the casting platform. A really nice, unique, new style of vinyl that I think is durable and I think is going to be very easy to maintain. Now below my feet are all the functions of this rear casting deck. For example, there's an aerated live well back here. There are two fold up jump seats so you can have two passengers riding back here if you need as well. There's a dry storage compartment for your cranking battery, and there's another dry storage compartment that would be a good place to put, like your oil reservoir. Say, for example, you're running a two-stroke oven rig, you need a place for the oil reservoir. All that is housed in here very, very nicely. So all said, I would say that the back of this boat is set up perfect for fishing. Let's talk a little bit about the seating capacity of the Titan 186. There's actually four seat bases here in the cockpit, and then we got these two fold-up jump seats that we talked about in the back. So actually, you can ride in comfort six people at a time in this boat in the cockpit. That's pretty impressive for a boat that's only 18 and a half foot long. The Titan 186 is a walk-through council boat, and the beauty of that is, is that you get two councils. That gives you a lot more storage areas in the boat. For example, I'm sitting in front of the passenger council, and all councils, of course, are going to have a glove box, as this one does, and it's got a really nice space here where you can store all kinds of items. You can see I've got my cover for my Lawrence HD8 up here right now. But what this has that's a little bit unique that you don't see in many boats is it's got a second storage compartment down here, which is going to be perfect for storing small tackle items. What I would do with this is I'd put my terminal tackle in here, my swivels and hooks and that kind of stuff, sinkers in here, because those are the items that are kind of hard to find a place to store in a boat and hard to find when you need them. So there's a lot of storage going on here. Underneath, there's a flat shelf under here, so you can store things underneath the flat shelf, or maybe you might want to you know, mount something like a VHF radio on there. The other thing that these councils do that's important is underneath the council is where you're gonna house your trolling motor batteries. Now there's room on that side and there's room on this side, so you could put up to a 36 volt you know, electric motor on this boat if you wanted. Most people would probably rig this with a 24 volt electric motor, one battery on that side, one battery on this side. So those batteries are stored where they're handy to get to, uh, but where they're out of sight and mind and not under your feet. Altogether, this council layout here is super efficient. As long as I'm sitting here in the cockpit, let's talk a little bit about the storage capabilities here. Now, you've got this big open space here on the port of the boat. You also have one on the starboard that matches it. It's going to be ideal for things like your throwable cushion will fit right in there. Um, I also got some other bulky items in here like planer boards that are going to fit in here really nicely as well. But these open storage areas, I really like them because it's easy to get stuff in and it's easy to get stuff out, yet it keeps the boat really organized. There's not just one of these, but there's two. There's one on the port and there's also one on the starboard. Hey, as long as we're talking about storage, let's talk about fishing rod storage. The Titan's kind of special in that regard because it has not one, but two rod lockers in it. Both of them are located in the floor, which is a very good place for rod lockers to be. 
The big one underneath my feet right here is designed for long trolling rods. You can put your eight and a half foot trolling rods in here with your big heavy line counter reels on them, no problem. You can put up to six of them in here. As you move forward and you open up this other rod locker, it's more suited to things like spinning rods or small bait casting rods. So you've got two different rod lockers to store all the kind of fishing tackle you're ever gonna need for any great day of fishing on the water. Hey, everybody likes a little relaxing time in the sun, and these bow rider cushions are a great place for you to just spend a little time up here just soaking up the sun. But eventually, you're going to want to go fishing again. And the beauty of the Titan is all you have to do is just take these cushions right out and stow them. Now underneath, you've got a vinyl-covered deck that's going to be a perfect elevated platform for any kind of fishing you've got in mind. I'm sitting in the elevated casting deck. The elevated casting deck, of course, is vinyl, very much like the rear casting deck is. Lots of room up here for a couple people to fish. Perfect location for casting for bass or bluegills or whatever your favorite species might be. But more importantly, this elevated platform also has some unique functions for the boat. You get a live well up here. So you don't have just one live well in this boat, you actually have two to pick from, one in the bow, one in the transom of the boat. You also have two very large dry storage compartments up here. So this is a very functional area in those regards. Also, your electric motor is gonna be mounted up here. And this boat comes standard with an electric motor with a quick disconnect. The cool thing about that is you can put the electric motor on when you need it. And if you don't need it for a purpose, say maybe you just wanna go sunning for the day, you can take the electric motor off and stow it. So all said, I'd say that the front of this boat has got it figured right out for both fishing and recreational boating. Hey, thanks for sticking around and watching this test drive video on the Titan 186 from StarCraft. If you want to learn more about this boat, I recommend checking it out at StarCraftMarine.com or better yet, see one in person at your favorite StarCraft dealer. This new model for 2016 is extra special. Great fishing boat, great family recreation boat, and it's a good looking boat besides. Check it out. I think you'll like what you see.